Dear learners, all of you are uh, most welcome to our virtual smart classroom. Uh, this is Mohammed Jehud Islam, coordinator and ASOD, Bangladesh Student College, Sam. Dear learners, I hope all of you are very fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. Today, I'll teach you physics for the class 9 students and today I'll teach the chapter 4 and topic name is work, power and energy. Okay dear students, uh, before going to my lesson, firstly I will show you two picture. I hope from this picture you will get the idea about the today's lesson. Okay dear students, what you can see from this picture? Uh, if I ask one question or if I ask to move a share, can you tell me what you can see in the picture? I can see a man pushing a car. Yeah, very good. Okay. So thank you, Mr. Ram. Okay. So I hope all of you also have understood the person is applying the force on a car to carry the load and the car is moving forward. That means here uh, he is taking also the displacement. Okay. Now, next picture. So this is the next picture. If I ask you, Fakriya, can you tell me what you can see from this picture? The person is uh, pulling the loads. Okay, very good. The person is unloading the loads. Okay? Okay, very good. Thank you. So from this two picture, what we can understand? Very simply, if we say they are doing the work, is it not? Yes, sir. Just they are doing work. And for doing the work, what they are doing? They are applying the force and also displacement is? Going on, okay? Okay, uh, for you, we have also two more picture. Look at here. See the first picture. And what is this? This is the sun. And from the sun, we are getting the sunlight. And sunlight is falling on the solar panel. And we are getting the electricity. Very simple. Yes, students? That means here, we are getting different function of energy. And this is also another picture. I hope you can see here what is going on here. A person is releasing an arrow by using a bow. Okay, that means he is also here using energy. So, after this four picture, we can say today our topic must be which one have energy. energy and work. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. So now see what you have understood from the above pictures. From the above pictures, you can understood that is different type of works and energy. energy. So, are you okay? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, dear students, uh, so our today's lesson must be work, energy, and different form of energy. energy. Okay. Okay, so after today's class, what do you learn? That means at the end of today's lesson, you will be able to know the relation between the work and energy. You will also be able to know the relation between the work, force, and displacement. Also, you will able to know the uh, uh, different form of energy and equation of kinetic energy and potential energy. So, dear students, uh, now I will start my lesson. This is the main lesson. So, first thing is work. Okay, can you imagine what is work or can you tell anyone what is work? According to the physics and medical science, work is different. Suppose, in, according to the medical science, you are now during the class, that means you are sitting here, you are hearing myself, that means uh, you are learning something. But after one hour or two hours, you will feel tired. Why you feel tired? Because you are doing the work according to the medical science. But according to physics, for doing any work, you have to apply any force and object must be a displacement. If we have force and displacement, then we will get the work done. So this is according to the physics. Now we are studying the physics, so we have to think this one. So look at here, this picture. What is going on here? The person is the person is pulling by rope on this car or toys, okay? And the toys is going on forward. That means here displacement is going on. So what is going on here? We are applying the force and we are getting the displacement. So if we multiply this together, force and displacement, then we will get the work done. So dear students, what will be the definition of work done? Dot product, what simply you can say the product of force and displacement is called work done. 
So what is called one gram? Rahab? Product of? Product of force and? Force and displacement is called one gram. Okay. okay. Okay, try to understand from here. Understand from here. Uh, this is very much uh, favorite game of all of you. I go. Yes, and what is going on here? Football. Football. Football games is going on. So can you compare with this to one here playing the person? They are adult, but this boy is not adult. Okay, according to uh, yourself, can you tell me this adult person or these kids who is have more energy? Yes. yes, very good. Thank you. So here the adult personal player, they are applying the kick on the football very with very uh, huge amount of energy, okay? So ball is moving fast, but the kids look at here, he's just uh, simply touching the ball because he has less energy. So from here we can understand that the person who have more energy, he can do more work. But the person who have less energy, he can, he can does less work. So we can say that one, Work done and energy are equal. Work done and energy are equal. And definition of the energy is energy the ability to do what to work. Okay. So I hope up to this you have all of you have understood. Have you any condition anywhere? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now I'll go to the mathematical equation of work done or measurement of work done. So look at here. First picture. We are applying a force on an object, and object is also going on forward. Here, force and displacement is same direction. Force and displacement is in same, same, direction. same direction. But look at here. Here we are applying a force, but object is moving with a certain angle. With a certain yeah. angle. So here there are two different things, and we have two formulas for finding the work done. So first one, I am going to the board. Okay, dear learners, now we will learn how we can calculate the work done. How we can calculate the work done. So look at from here, first condition. We are applying a force on the offset. And offset is moving also the same direction of force. That means this person also is same direction. And for this condition, work done formula is probably equal to F is. Now, if the amount of force is suppose 10 Newton, and displacement is equal to 5 meter. Then what will be the work done? Just put the value here. 10 multiplied with 5, that is equal to 50 joule. But if the force direction and the displacement is not the same, suppose I am applying a force here, an object is moving along to the horizontal line, and here is an angle, suppose theta equal to 60 degree. It is 60 degree, and suppose we are also applying the force is equal to 50 newton, and displacement is equal to 10 meter. Then our formula must be which one? W equal to FS? Cos theta. Thank you. W equal to FS? Cos theta. So if you put the value, F value is 50, S value is 10. Then cos 60. Okay, I'm writing the calculation here. So what will be here? Uh, 50 multiplied is 500, and we know the cos 60 value is just half. You can cut 500 by 2, then it will be 250. So our work will be 252. So dear students, I know now you have understood. If the angle is given, then which formula you have to use? And if the force and displacement is same direction, that means if the angle is zero, then we have to uh, use the formula W equal to Fs. Okay. So, dear students, I told you just now W equal to Fs. So, when I use this formula, whenever force and displacement will be along the same direction, okay. but when there will be any angle, then formula W equal to Fs. Okay. okay, now, unit, what is the unit of the work done that is joule or newton meter and dimension is ml square cube by minus two how we get this one that is i am going to the board <clears throat> okay firstly unit unit 
unit of work done. We know work done W equal to Again, right? from the fourth chapter we learned force A equal to M A. A is the mass, A is the acceleration. So also we can write on this one as M A is. Now I put the unit here. M is the mass. M is the mass. mass. We know unit of mass is kilogram or kg. And ex uh, acceleration is acceleration is meter per second square. Second square. And also you have another second. Okay? Mm -hmm. And this kg meter per second square is also called Newton. This one? Newton. Newton. Uh, sorry, here displacement displacement is which one? Displacement is meter. Displacement is, is meter. It will be here meter. Is it okay? Here? Yeah. So it will be must be Newton meter, and this Newton meter is called Joule. Yeah. So now we have understood that work done unit. There are three units. They are same. First one is kg. You can multiply this meter 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 square per second square. Also Newton meter, also Joule. Yeah. That means we can say that one is one Joule equal to one Newton meter. Yeah. Yeah. So now if I ask to Janatu for those. Maybe our uh, good student can tell me 10 joule equal to how many newton meter? 10. 10. Thank you. It's okay? Yes. So I hope about the unit it is clear to all of you. Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, now I am going to the dimension. Okay, for dimension, again, I am coming here. The formula of work done that is W equal to F S. And we know F is M A. A. L A. 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 Then S. And dimension of mass that is capital A. Dimension of A. L T over minus 2. You have learned this in second chapter. So I am not explaining this one. Okay. And dimension of S. This one kind of length. It will be L. So according to the exponent, if I write on this are L and L, then T over minus 2. Can you tell me what is the power of L? L? 1. So according to the mathematics exponent, 1 plus 1 it will be how many? 2. 2. Very good. So it will be L over 2 T over minus 2. This is the dimension of work done. So we can write down here dimension of work done W equal M square. Uh, square t over minus, minus, minus 2. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. So now again I am coming back to my lesson. There is. Okay, so this question is over? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. So, dear students and learners, I hope you are enjoying my class or you are feeling bored. Okay, thank you very much uh, for your patience. Now look at here. We have different type of works. First one is positive work and second one is negative work. So what is the positive work? We know for getting work, we have to apply force and object takes and displacement. If the force and displacement direction same, that is called positive work. That is called positive work. So first picture, look at here, we are dropping a ball. We are dropping a ball. Ball is going to down. Why ball is going to down? Because of gravity force. Because of gravity. gravity. So gravity is pulling the ball downward. So force is downward. Force is downward. Also, object is also moving downward. That means here displacement and force is in the same direction. So it will be positive one. Which one? Positive one. And negative one. If I throw a ball upward, then gravity will act as downward. But if you are swinging the ball upward, so it is moving opposite direction of gravity. So here force and gravity is in opposite direction. This will be the negative work. Have you understood the positive work and negative work? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Now we will see the different forms of energy. Can you tell me the first energy we are using is for cooking? Which yeah. energy is one? Heat yeah. energy. Very good. And this one is sun. Yeah. From the sun, we are getting heat energy, light energy. Okay? So, this is also about the solar energy. And this is a speaker. Sound energy. You get from here? Sound energy. Very good. Very good. 
and this is the magnetic not to not to that is repulsion okay so this is magnetic energy okay and this that is the electric energy very good was it okay now if i ask to uh yes yes sir can you tell me which type of this energy this one wind energy wind energy very good sit down and this one look at here a girl is eating some food which type of energy here chemical chemical energy why is chemical energy we are taking the food and in the food we have energy as a chemical whenever we are running or uh, walking that time we are chemical energy using as a kinetic energy or moving energy okay okay nuclear energy and this one is the mechanical energy or elastic potential energy okay we will discuss this one later no problem the last one is light energy okay we can get also here uh, heat energy from the light so that was the defined type of energy now i have come back again a mechanical energy which one so what is called the mechanical energy the energy related with the moving object with the moving object or if we send the position or shape of an object then the energy associated with that object is called mechanical energy okay you will get this definition from your book no problem now mechanical energy are mainly two types one is kinetic another one is the potential energy what is the kinetic energy the energy related with the moving object which object that is for getting the kinetic energy you need the velocity if the velocity or speed is zero then kinetic energy will be zero maybe you can see the formula of kinetic energy which one half n okay so now according to this formula i will practice or i will solve one mathematical problem okay dear students so try to note down this what is this i am drawing the car okay so mass of the car suppose 100 kg and the car is moving forward with a speed or velocity that is maybe 40 40 meter per second. How many meter per second? 40. 40 meter per second. Now, if I ask you, kind of the kinetic energy of the car, kinetic energy, kinetic energy of the car. Then what is the formula of kinetic energy? Half m square. Equal. Half m square. Half m b square. Just put the value. What is the mass? Mass is 100. Velocity is 40. 40. So 40 square. If you uh, cut one hundred by two, be fifty. Fifty then fifty then multiply with sixteen hundred. Okay. Yes, If you calculate, then you get the result. Yes, And six multiply by how many? It is eighty. Then how many zero? One two three. I hope this is the result. You can calculate by your calculator. Okay. So, by using the kinetic energy formula, we can find out the kinetic energy of any object. But if the mass of the object, so if the velocity of the object is zero, then kinetic energy will be zero. Zero. Okay. So, any problem here? No, sir. Any problem? No, sir. Thank you. So, next again, potential energy. What is the potential energy? Whenever we take any object. from its normal position that means the energy associated with the object whenever we change its normal position to another position or if we change the shape of the object then the energy associated with that body is called potential energy and potential energy are two types one is the gravitational potential energy another one is the elastic potential energy but in your book also elastic potential energy is not discussed so i am not going there i am just telling about the gravitational potential energy and gravitational potential energy depends on which thing mass gravity and height okay but at a starting place at a starting place means their gravity is fixed and if the starting of it means mass also is fixed then gravitational potential energy does depend on the height so we have write down here p is proportional to x is it okay is it clear yes, okay Now, 
I'll ask the question. Is the pair one? Pair one means I will give the question from you two friends. You will answer. Okay? We can discuss and we can answer. Now, uh, Yasin and Abdulaziz, you are the first pair. I'm asking you. Anyone can answer here. Kinetic energy depends on how many things. Two things. Very good. Abdulaziz cannot tell me which are there. We start there. Mass and velocity. Mass and velocity. Thank you very much. And next, I want to ask from the girl side, Jannatul Fedos and uh, Unmi. Write down the name of different form of energy. Just tell me five different formations of energy. Heat energy. Yes. Energy. Heat energy. Yes. 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 Solar energy. Solar energy. Very good. I think you can write down one about you will write by yourself. Okay, sit down. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, we'll see the evaluation. Look at here. Evaluation, I will ask a single question. Fakriya, what do we mean by what? According to physics, uh, when we apply force and uh, when, uh, when, we, uh, when, the, when we apply uh, displacement and force to the... Uh, that means the multiplication of force and displacement. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And define energy. Sai, can you tell me what is energy? Uh, ability to do or discover. Very good. This is brilliant. Thank you. Yeah. And now, what are the units of work and energy? Anyone? You can answer. Tell me. Sure. Wow, oh, nice. Thank you. And what do you mean by one joule? Mubashi again. One joule. The one who said interpret force is one. And yes. The, the also one. Then yeah, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Now we have two homeworks. Okay? So see, first one homework is uh, mass and velocity of an object is 50 kg and 20 meter per second. Calculate the kinetic energy. I hope you can, you you can stop. stop this one. Okay? And next one is work done can be zero. So the, uh, though force is applied, work done can be zero though force is applied. That means if force is not sufficient, that means if the displacement is zero, then work is zero. Okay? Again, if the angle is 90 degree, that means you are applying your force on the object, but object is making displacement with an angle 90 degree, because 90 degree is zero, so that time what means zero. Okay, uh, next is just one uh, advice to you that one prevent the waste of energy and build a developed country. What is this? Sometimes in our house, we are wasting our energy. Maybe you are sleeping that time, unnecessarily, you are keeping the light on. And last of it is Mr. Thank you. Thank you very much to all of my dear students. Inshallah, see you in next class. Allah Hafiz. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you. Okay.